The Earth's population is currently three times past its sustainable level. Because of this, scientists have begun genetically modifying plants to grow bigger and faster, helping to feed more people. It is important that we understand the nature of these genetically modified plants so that we may learn how to better treat them or how to improve on them. If you've ever taken a biology course, you probably know that ATP is an important molecule that provides energy for a cell. But researchers have recently found that ATP is also a signaling molecule, coordinating many processes from heart beating to plant growth. For example, ATP regulates the growth of a small plant called Arabidopsis. Arabidopsis has been shown to have faster root hair growth when grown in small concentrations of ATP. This is important because root hairs are responsible for nutrient uptake in plants. The faster the root hairs grow, the more nutrients the plant can absorb. This summer I researched Arabidopsis root hairs and how they interact with ATP. In my research, I studied two mutant Arabidopsis seedlings, one called DM and the other called PS. Both DM and PS plants have a mutation that causes a specific protein to appear all over the surfaces of their roots. This protein is called apyrase. Apyrase is a protein responsible for breaking down ATP into energy. These DM and PS mutant plants have been shown to grow faster and larger than ordinary Arabidopsis. I wanted to see if this was because mutant root hairs grow quickly and if ATP could make the root hairs grow even faster. In my experiments, I grew DM and PS seeds for a week and then separately placed them into empty plates and plates with varying levels of ATP. After the seedlings had grown in these plates for an hour, I measured all of the root hair growth rates. I repeated this experiment six times with many different concentrations of ATP. The results were surprising. In all different concentrations, the mutant root hairs with ATP grew just about as fast as the mutant root hairs without ATP. This showed me that, unlike normal Arabidopsis seedlings, mutant root hairs don't grow faster when exposed to ATP. Second, I found that mutant Arabidopsis root hairs grew no faster than normal Arabidopsis root hairs. This shows finally that even though PS and DM plants grow bigger and faster than normal Arabidopsis plants, this has nothing to do with their root hairs.